My name is Sinead and um, I am, I'm a model first. I wouldn't necessarily call myself a hair blogger, but um, through the years of modelling and, you know, having my hair straight, having it curly for jobs, it's, you know, I've always experimented with new products. I've always felt like, oh, let me like, you know, let me post about this product and, you know, try and give my followers an insight as to what I do with my hair because I get a lot of messages saying, what's your routine? What products do you use? And um, over the years, I guess, I realized my staple product has always been mixed chicks and I've been a customer of them theirs for years, like from when I transitioned when I was young, I didn't even know what transitioning was. So I, I think I was 18 or 17 and my hairdresser just said like, I'm not relaxing my hair anymore because it's gonna fall out. And I was like, oh, okay, but like I'm paying you, why are you not gonna do it? And um, you know, I'm really grateful that she didn't obviously and she didn't take my money and it forced me to transition. And it was a really tough year, it was horrible. I went from having, you know, I always used to straighten my hair every day. I'd had chemicals on it. And um, then all of a sudden I cut out the heat, I cut out the chemicals. I was left with really zigzag, thin hair. I also dyed my hair a lot back then. And it was just in a really bad condition. And I think Mix Chicks was the first, I did try a few products and living in a neighborhood that I did, it, you know, you didn't have, a, a vast variety. It was very European based products, um, a lot of water based products as well which doesn't really do much for my hair and um, if you travelled out of town to a, like a more multicultural community it was very like Afro-Caribbean based products, very heavy oil and that didn't really do anything for my hair either. I definitely needed a balance and that balance I just couldn't find for years. Um, so I went through like a, I'd say maybe two, three years of not knowing what to use. And then I think it was my mum actually. My mum um, came home with these sample packs and she got given them at some event or something and it was called Mixed Chicks. And there were three samples, a leave-in conditioner, a shampoo and a conditioner. And they were about that big. And I think it lasted me one go. And you know, cause my hair just drunk everything. But after that one go, I was like, oh my God, like where, where do I get these from? And I think at the time they only stocked it in America. So we had it shipped in and I've never looked back since. So from a young age, I feel like I've been a genuine customer of Mixed Chicks. And throughout the years, I've always used their stuff. So when they asked me to be an ambassador, I was, I was over the moon because it's not, it's not like they're paying me to do this, but like it's out of a genuine, want to kind of give back because I know there's a lot of girls going through what I went through when I was younger and if I can kind of help out and give you guys tips you know with the videos I do I'm not very good at the videos but I do try my best to do them and give you guys as much tips as I can and um, on my posts on Instagram I try and always say what hair products I've got in my hair at the time um, but yeah that it was you know, I was, it was a real privilege to be asked and I'm really honoured and I love the brand, I love everything it stands for, I love how they've included every race, it's not just mixed black and white that can use mixed chicks, it's Latinos, it's Mediterraneans, it's anyone that's just got a mixed texture of hair, it's not one or the other, it's mixed. So they cover a, a wide range and every product that they do for me works. What I'd say my favourite product is the leave-in conditioner and this isn't one that Mixed Chicks actually gave me because <laughs> I used so much of this I had to go buy the salon size one <laughs> so um, this is my go-to one and I think I've done a video I've definitely done a video on how I use this before but basically all I do is I wash my hair um, They've got great shampoo and a washout conditioner. The washout conditioner is amazing. It leaves your hair feeling so soft and silky afterwards. So after I do that, I give it a comb with a wide tooth comb because we don't want loads of hair loss in the shower. And then I literally just rake this through my hair, like making sure I cover it from tip to end. And scrunching, I've never realized how important it is. I used to just like go like that, 
once or twice over my hair and let it dry. And my hair would always dry curly, but if you do it, like if you spend a good 10 minutes doing it while your hair is drying with that in, it just makes it so much more thicker. The curls are like slightly more coil-like. And um, yeah, I just, that, that product, I've just never gone wrong with and what I've also this is the newest product that I've learned about recently it's the coil kink and curl styling cream and I do my finger twist with it I'm not like it I do like the finger twist but sometimes I'm in a rush and I don't have time to spend ages going over my hair like that so what I do is I also use this as like a leave-in conditioner as well and for me it adds even more hold combined with that so um, that is also a favorite product of mine but that's a newer addition to my favorite collection so yeah that, they're my two favorite products um, yeah to finish off what is like uh, something I live by um, just like an inspirational thing for you guys is is to always be thankful that has got me through life it's you know appreciating what you have and you can apply that to your hair journey too because you can always look at someone else and think, oh, like, they've got this, they've done that, or their hair's like that, and mine's not like that. You have to appreciate what you have been given and work with it. And I do, I think gratitude gets you so far in life if you're always thankful for what you have, because there's always someone who's worse off than you. So I just think you should always just take a moment to reflect every day, every other day, every week even, and just say thank you. And, um, yeah. That's my inspirational bit of advice for you guys.